High school students in Missouri may get to play some games this summer, but there are a lot of variables athletic directors are going to have to consider before students get to suit up. News Force Brooke Grimsley is highlighting those concerns as Missouri moves forward in this outbreak. We're going to leave no stone unturned. We're going to do whatever it is we can do to, to safely make these kids, help these kids feel connected. Misha has essentially added to their playbook, approving changes to their summer bylaws, opening the possibility of summer contests. But for high school athletic directors, it's not that simple of a play. The trouble here is every time we break the huddle, we come to the line of scrimmage, the play's an option. You don't know what it's going to happen until the ball's in play. But we really don't know. Um, what we're going to be allowed to do, when we're going to be allowed to do it. Rocky Streb, the CBC athletic director, met via Zoom last week with other ADs in the state, and their concerns are safety. Are you going to be able to have a football camp with 150 kids in the summer? A basketball camp with 150 kids in the summer? I don't know if you're going to be able to do that. And being able to make this happen for the students most affected by their seasons being shut down, the seniors. They move on. Uh, if you're a college, if you're playing uh, a college sport next year as an incoming freshman, you're likely having to report to school by July 5th. So that cuts down on what kind of time frame we have to work with. For right now, they're moving forward with plans for summer games, but they will have to wait to see what Governor Mike Parson says about summer activities on Friday. Whatever it takes to make it happen, we're going to go, speaking for all athletic directors across the state, we're going to do what we need to do to make that happen. Brooke Grimsley, News 4.